I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit about how did how did it happen for you? How did you get signed to Slow River? Um, <clears throat> I had been playing music and I had been in bands for years and, you know, with kind of serious intentions. You know, we were living around Nashville and we wanted to get a record deal and start making records and, you know, the kind of the classic dream, you know, get a deal and do that. Yeah. So we tried and tried and then it, we just felt like it wasn't working. So I uh, just started doing things by myself, like recording, writing songs and recording things on four track and in, in, in my bedroom and then um, got some studio time and did a demo. Um, and the guy who played drums with me, he, luckily he was a very social guy. He was always out in the bars and the clubs. And uh, he met Chris Moon, my manager, who's been managing me for 15 years, at a, at a concert. And he, they just started chatting. And he said, yeah, I'd, you know, I'd like to hear you guys. So I, I, and then I got in touch with, with Chris somehow, and I played him something. And he had a little record label. It wasn't a label, but they were releasing small things. Uh, and I said, I'd, I'd like to do, a, he liked what I was doing. And I said, I'd like, to, I'd like to do a record, maybe just do a thousand copies and, you know, just regionally. Mm -hmm. He was like, okay, be, do you mind if I send this to some other people? You know, did, what you're doing to other people? And I said, no, go ahead. And then immediately we heard back. So all those years of trying, you know, and I yeah. kind of just was going to do it for myself. And, and, and then we heard back from labels. So I, I didn't do it like playing out in club. I wasn't discovered yeah. at a club or anything like that. So I think, but I think, you know, I paid my dues learning, you know, playing in bands and learning how to songwrite and, and doing all those things. It was kind of working on, on the craft pit. See, bit, I think that more. part is so important. And I yeah. think it's something that, <clears throat> because the ability exists right now to get out there immediately on yeah. like social media. Yeah. You know? But y your music is something that um, you, when you listen to it, it's undeniable. Um, and when I first heard Dressed Up Like Nebraska, <laughs> you're just like, this is it, you know what I mean? So there, there's something there. So it does speak to the importance of getting your craft together yeah. um, before you do anything. And yeah. you did do that. Yeah, yeah, because we didn't have any, there was no, you know, I mean, you could make a cassette or something and give it to your friends, but there was, you know, no you know, online distribution or anything yeah. at that point or any kind of social media at that point. So you needed a record label at yeah. that point to, to get out there. So, um, but now, like you say, you don't. So, but we spent all that time, instead of thinking about, how can I get this out there to a lot of people and doing it quickly? We just spent, you know, time working on the music. So. And I think that core truth still holds true today. Yeah. Getting oh, yeah. the music together before. That's the most anything. important thing, yeah. I mean the songs are still you know, and the music, whatever, it's just still the most important thing. Yeah. yeah. And being able to play out, you know. Yeah. Um, those two things together yeah. I think are really key, you know, yeah. before you're out there promoting what you can do, you have to be able to do it properly, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it's good to you know, I mean, start out slow. You know, and because you know, obviously you're not just going to pop up on a stage and be amazing. You yeah. Know? I mean, it takes time to learn how to sing with the microphone and sing to different rooms, and you know, and there's yeah. a lot of it's a that's learning. I'm still learning. It's still learning experience. Yeah. So you, I'm sure, have a lot of people coming up to you saying, "How'd you get started? Now, mm -hmm. how do, how should I do it? You know? Yeah. Like, what do you usually say to the folks that are saying, like, how do you get going? Well, that's like I think. Like what we were just talking about, spend. I think that if the music is really good, if the music is great, you're not going to have any problem getting going. People are going to want to work with you, and then it, and then you got to be kind of selective in choosing people that have similar taste. You know, or maybe you could go like, um, you know, this label, for example, if it's you know Matador or if it's Domino or something like that. You know, I like the, their taste in music. You know, and, and finding someone that can represent you and getting that music to them, or, mm -hmm. or even if you want to do it yourself, you can go about it that way as as well. But um, it definitely helps to have a team.